Eastern Bay Bandicoots are a small marsupial. They're about the size of a, a, a large guinea pig, if you like, and they live in grasslands. They're called Eastern Barred Bandicoots because they have light bars on their, on their rump or their back, which help them hide from predators. They have a long nose, like most bandicoots or all bandicoots, and with their sharp claws, they use those claws and that long nose to dig and find grubs and, and beetles and, and earthworms. Just come across some bandicoot diggings here and I thought we would um, just share that with you all. So what they tend to do is dig rapidly with their front feet and then dig their nose right under that soil and that gives that nice conical hole. So the Eastern Bay Bandicoot is nocturnal and that means they only come out at night. And they probably do that to avoid the predators, things that will try and eat them. And during the day they sleep in, or they make a little round nest and they sleep in that. Well they first find a, a thick tussock of, of grass, a place in which they can build that, that nest. And then in that they find and sort of weave this football sized, you know, round nest of, of grass. It's quite extraordinary. They're mostly solitary, they live on their own and will spend the night looking for and, and feeding. They get all their daily water needs from their food. They have one of the shortest gestation periods of any mammal. The gestation period is the length of time the fertilised egg stays in the mother. It's a very short time, it's only 12 days. After that 12 days, the little tiny little baby, which is about the size of half your little fingernail, pops out and climbs into the pouch not just one, probably two or three normally. They stay in their pouch for about 55 days. So it's a pretty short period, you know, within about two months from mating, we've got little bandicoots, half the size of their, mother, of their mother, running along behind them, which is a very lovely thing to see, these tiny little striped bandicoots running along behind their mum. At about three months of age, those little baby bandicoots will have grown up enough to look after themselves and they shoot off to some other part of the grassland and the mother can have another set of, of uh, babies in the same year. Sometimes even have three sets of young in one year. With, so they have a very, can have a very high reproductive rate as well. They're quite short-lived and generally only live for two to three years in the wild. How can you help? Do what you can to increase community support and awareness about the Eastern Bar Bandicoot.